Hey up everyone and welcome to the video. I hope you're all well and you're looking after yourselves. Tonight's video is going to be part two of me and RL off-field rivalry video series. So I've already done one video as most of you would probably already know. It was quite controversial, split down the middle 50-50. Had about 9 or 10 dislikes, about 11 likes. Got mixed reactions. But tonight I'm going to be doing part two. And this is a recent rivalry which has kicked off between two rugby league YouTubers slash Instagrammers. And that is CJ Moxley against Hayden Otty. So before I get into the video, I'm just going to make a couple of disclaimers. The first one is language warning. So if you're under the age of 18, I recommend that you don't watch this video because there's going to be some bad language and... I don't want to be teaching little kids out there and little in Spain and that bad words. So if you're under 18, I recommend that you don't watch this video. And secondly, this video is just for a bit of fun. I did a disclaimer with the last one and obviously there was a lot of people out there that didn't see it as a joke and took it literally despite the fact that I said disclaimer, this is just for a bit of fun and a joke. So once again... This is just for a bit of fun and a joke. Don't take this seriously. I'll have a laugh over it, okay? Just chill out and sit down and watch the video and enjoy it. So, CJ Moxley against He Naughty. CJ Moxley is a, a YouTuber who goes for South Sydney, but he also has a presence on Instagram. He Naughty is mainly on Instagram, but he's also a YouTuber and he goes for Canberra. And the rivalry kicked off when they got into an argument about the anti-vax vaccination debate with the rugby league players. Now, Hayden is a staunch anti-vaxxer and CG is a vaxxer. So both of them had a big argument over player welfare, player safety. Then there was some name-calling, petty arguments after that. Things got a bit heated online. And then... Hayden started a thread seeing who do you think's more successful over the last decade, Melbourne or Eastern Suburbs? So CG Moxley said, well, obviously fucking Melbourne has been. And then Hayden went, no, it's Eastern Suburbs that have been the most successful team. So then they both had a big argument over that. And this went for a couple of days. Then CG Moxley called Hayden, quote unquote, a fucking dickhead and quote unquote, an immature fucker. Then Hayden accused C.G. Moxley of being using double standards. C.G. then said Hayden instigates drama and is a drama queen. Then Hayden hit back a day later saying that C.G. is too young to understand anything and is too, un too uneducated to understand what's going on with the way of the rugby league, any vaccination, vaccination, and the Melbourne and Eastern Suburbs debate. Then, Hayden called C.G. Moxley a toddler. So C.G. Moxley actually responded in kind by saying that he would rock Hayden's foundation and he would literally fight him. Then, C.G. called Hayden scum. Or a scumbag. And then Hayden finally hit back with the, uh, the line that he absolutely despises C.G. Moxley. Now the rivalry has kicked off ever since then. But that's just from the beginning to where we are now. So it's becoming a very, very heated off-field rivalry. It's becoming one of the biggest rivalries off-field on YouTube. And I look forward to seeing where the next chapter of this rivalry ends up going. So, that's me video for the uh, second part of my NRL off-field rivalry series. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've done over 50 videos now that cover a, a, a wide range of topics in the rugby league world. I'm up to 84 subscribers at the moment. I was at 85 the other day and now it's back down to 84 but 
me goal before the end of me is to get to 100 subscribers can we get there who knows but i'm really hoping that i can get to 100 because that would be a great achievement considering the fact that i only started this channel two months back and if you have some spare time go over to my rugby league history page that's the page that i run on facebook it's got your nostalgia your black and white photos your old players your old games and I also run the Instagram page as well, which is tied to the Facebook page. That only started about three to four weeks ago. But go check those out. I put a link in the description for both of them below. And as always, everyone, take care of yourselves. Catch us all later. Tatty bye.